Hello, I'm Nikki Romero. I'm a Stage 100 Certified Consultant with TAG located in Southern California. In this video, I'm going to discuss month-end closing procedures. This information applies to Stage 100 Contractor 2014 and 2016. A good resource for Stage 100 Contractor information is found within the software itself from the Home and Resources menu. Expand the Home and Resources menu and navigate to Product Documentation. It's worth your time to take a look at all the documentation listed here. However, for this video, we're going to focus on the User Guide. The guide provides over a thousand pages of helpful information for Sage 100 contractor users. This guide downloads in PDF format and is easy to navigate. Appendix C offers a timetable of office procedures for daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly routines. A year-end guide can also be found in the product documentation menu. You will want to read through these procedure timetables and make a unique workflow specific to your company needs. I'll be demonstrating these processes in Sage 100 Contractor 2016. However, these same steps will be available in version 2014. The following is an example of tasks you may complete during your month end procedures. In the general ledger section, navigate to the 1-5 screen and reconcile bank statements. If you utilize cash clearing accounts, you can also reconcile these accounts here. Within accounts receivable, Make sure that you've reviewed all open and submitted progress billings. Post any records that should be invoiced in this period. Post any recurring receivables that have been set up. In accounts payable, post any recurring payables that have been set up. Reconcile credit card statements. Within payroll, ensure that all open, computed, and reverse status payroll records have been posted for the period. Within equipment management, post any established equipment depreciation. Within service receivables, post invoices for completed work orders. And in inventory, enter any inventory allocations for the period. After this, you'll return to the General Ledger section and within Period and Fiscal Year Management, make sure to advance to the next period. Lock any periods that you no longer want to make changes to. Remember, locked periods can be opened if you need to make future adjustments. If you haven't maintained your support plan with SAGE, you may not be running the most recent versions of Sage 100 Contractor. You may not know that Sage 2014 and 2016 allow you to keep multiple fiscal years available in the current database. Sage has also added new features for credit card management. If you would like additional help setting up a month end process checklist specific to your needs, Please contact me and the Sage 100 Contractor team at TAG. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.